Aquarium dumping is one of the main ways non-native and invasive species enter Hawaii's waters. The Don't Let It Loose campaign helps people understand the risks of releasing illegal pets into the wild and how to prevent them from harming our ecosystems. Chris Lechonic joins us live at the Waikiki Aquarium with more. Good morning, Chris. Good morning to you, Sarah, Sam, and everybody on this Aloha Monday. Yes, it's an important campaign, and invasive species here in Hawaii, you've been dealing with them all the time, but there is ways that you could help out. And we're here at the Waikiki Aquarium with the director, Andrew Roster. Always good to see you. Good morning. Happy Halloween, because also, it's Halloween here at the aquarium, right? It's Halloween, and we've got a scare scarium event <laughs> going on, so come on down, take a look at uh, all the exhibits. Uh, stuff have gone wild there. Yes, a lot of cool Halloween Easter eggs, so come in here and check it out. But also, the Don't Let It Loose campaign, important for our ecosystem. Tell me a little bit about it. Very, that. very important. Um, marine aquariums and freshwater aquariums as well becoming very, very popular. And with that, especially in Hawaii, we've seen an increase in the number of alien species introduced into Hawaii's habitat that really shouldn't be there. So this campaign is what to do and what not to do. Don't bring them in, certainly don't release them. And if you see them in the wild, either report them to us or Department of Land and Natural Resources, or if you've already collected them, bring them in here and we'll take care of them. Yes, there is an outlet, so bring them here. We'll have more information as well. But also, great, to, always great to see you, Andrew, and uh, seeing the aquarium, the scarium is what you want to see. But also, we got our lead coral biologist, uh, Mr. Tony Burke. Good morning to you, sir. So tell me a little bit. We've got this new little exhibit here. Tell me about some of the invasive species that are really wreaking havoc on our reefs. Well, it is a wonderful exhibit. It was just set up this past week, but all five of these species were collected locally out of Pearl Harbor by the Navy. And we believe all five of them to be in association to an aquarium dump. So um, uh, beautiful as they are, they are not like local to our ecosystem. And as a result, they're able to grow over and smother out a lot of the no native corals in our ecosystem. Wow, so yeah, kind of, I've never really seen these out in the wild, which is, which is good for, for me. But uh, also tell me a little bit about these different species and what we need to do to look out for them and what we should do when we find them. So prolific as they are, our priority number one is Eunomia stolonifera right here. And this is the pulsing coral. It's capable of growing at an exceptional rate, and it doesn't really have any concern about being stung by other corals. So our native species are not capable of defending themselves. They just get smothered out as it continues to grow. Some of these other species include Capnella, uh, the hammer coral, the mushroom coral Redactus, and the Manjano anemone. Wow, so yes, they actually look pretty beautiful, but actually this one here actually walks away, actually leaves a little spore, so Whenever you see these, you got to report them, and that's the big part of the Don't, uh, don't Let It Loose campaign. We'll also have more information on our website at k2and2.com. Important, especially if you're going out diving, you see these, there's now an outlet where you can bring them in or report the exact location where they are. So the Waikiki Aquarium, uh, the many experts can help to mitigate this, and otherwise, Bombay, we're going to lose a lot of our native reefs and coral. So we'll have more information on our website. Go check it out at k2and2.com for the Don't Let It Loose campaign.